Welcome to today's webinar about our new solution, Roaming Performance Intelligence. I'm Tania Ortega, and I'm part of the Roaming and Interconnect Business Unit at SIGOS. We regularly run webinars on different and interesting hot topics in the Roaming and Interconnect market, so please check out our website to find the latest information. For any questions you might have, you can use the chat function of this webinar tool, which you can see on the right-hand side of your webinar screen. The questions will be answered during a short break in the middle of the presentation and also at the end of the session. You can, of course, also send us any comments or questions to roaming underscore interconnect at seagulls.com via email afterwards. We like to improve the quality of our webinars, so at the end of the session, we would like to ask you to please take the time to answer four simple questions. This will be very much appreciated. We are counting on your feedback for improvement. And now I'm passing the microphone to my colleague Vincenzo Fiorentino. Vincenzo is our technical product manager and has been working in many companies in the te telecommunications industry for more than 20 years. Enjoy the presentation. Thank you very much, Tania, for the introduction. And uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to this webinar on roaming performance intelligence. This is a new product from the roaming uh, department of Sigos, and uh, let's jump directly to the topic. What is it, roaming performance intelligence? So if you are a global roamer user, you execute tests on the global roamer. At some point, you get some results, and they might be good or bad. Uh, this is just your judgment but you have no, not an objective reference point to say, okay, I am good in, with respect to the average or I am above the average. This is what we are going to offer with this product. We are going to offer you per every roaming partner, per every network, we are going to offer you a reference set of KPIs against which you can benchmark your performance, your user experience and more. More because we will give you also the results in the roaming in all available networks with some defined criteria. And the criteria are that in each network we need to have an average of four tests at least per day. Normally is much higher than that. Um, and uh, we give you the results aggregated for the last seven days. So which are the benefits out of this product. As I said, you can distinguish now the performance, the good performance or a bad performance, if it's a general problem or if it's your specific problem. Because if everybody is having a problem in a given network, then there must be a problem there. So the effort that you have to put into it to resolve it, it has to be different or the priority it has to be different from the case where you are the only one having problems. And this is one big benefit that gives you these products. It allows you to focus your effort on what is really needed to take, um, allows you to take a more pragmatic, pragmatic approach. The other important uh, thing is the benchmarking information. So if you look at it from a roaming manager perspective, you want to make sure that your customers are having a good use a good experience when they go in roaming and in order to do that you also have to benchmark against the average so you have to make sure that you are at least as the as the average and that's what we are also going to provide you but in addition to that as we provide all information, all average KPI in all available roaming partners, then you also have the possibility to see how is the performance in those roaming partners that are for you forbidden. So you have closed them for commercial reason probably, but you are missing a good user experience. So this allows you also to give a first indication on how you should change or adapt your roaming strategy. At the end, in summary, this tool allows you to compare your customer experience 
against the customer experience of all other global roamer users. This is a very valuable information, very valuable benchmarking inf information. So let's see how it is structured. The product is based on dashboards and is structured with uh, in this way. So you have always a high level view where the data are represented in a table format and represented by the single service indicator. In the following slides, we will show you at the end how these are, how are the technical values behind that. You always have the customer and the reference data. So you can immediately compare and you also have some thresholds set on this data. I will show you later how exactly looks like. The service, of course, are voice data and SMS. Below that, we have a for each service we have a specific service dashboard where only the most important kpis are represented and these are the kpis that are important also for the user experience as you see in the voice case the call setup duration the voice quality the cli transparencies is the CLI arrived or not? So these are all KPIs that are important for the user. Similarly for the data, the download rate. Here, just one remark. We also have the FTP download rate because in many cases, our customers are performing a GRQ tests. And in the GRQ, mostly they use the still the FTP download. Also for the SMS, we look at the duration, but also at the success rate of the content transfer. And this is very important in case you have to transfer special characters, for example, uh, Cyrillic alphabet or Chinese or uh, Arabic alphabets, then you want to make sure that the content arrives correctly to the destination. Finally, the network access. Here we present only delay information, only duration information for the PDB context and for the location update. Here we want to represent the accessibility to the networks, to the two types of service, the circuit switch and the data services. And the reason why we don't present the success rate, for example, of the location update is because this is very much affected by steering of roaming. So if we would do that, we would present data not really correct and we would not give you a good reference point. Now let's have a look to the high level view in more details. So as I said, you have a table where you have your voice test results. And in fact, where you do not perform tests, you will see a blank. On the other end, we have the voice, the reference data that are the average results in global roamer in, a, in each network. All these reference data have a thresholds and the values you can see on the bottom of the slide on the right hand side. So you can have an immediate feeling on how you are positioned with respect to the reference. If you are much better and you see the case of data, you are 91 while the uh, average is 46. If you are just about the same as is for the SMS case, or if you are not very good, but still, still better than the average, like for the voice case. Here you see on the right hand side also a navigation pane and here you can actually navigate through the world. Plus you can tell us who are your top 10 networks we can configure for you. So you have an immediate view of that, of that results. Uh, I think now we can have just a, a short break and ask Tanya if in the meantime we have any questions for the audience. Yes, we received two questions. The first one is, is it possible to customize the dashboard? Well, the answer is 
uh, know the dashboard has this format. Of course, uh, it has to handle a large amount of uh, data uh, and uh, is focused on the user experience in uh, roaming. So it is unfortunately not possible uh, to, um, to change anything. It's a standard format. Any more questions? Yes, we have another one. Why is the time interval only the last seven days? Okay, thank you again, Tanya. This is um, this is why uh, we want to offer the latest fresh data to the customers. So we don't want to give data that are old, one, two months old, um, and then we give misleading information. So these are recent data and re and real data. So if the customer has to take any action, he's sure that is working on on actual results any more questions no not for now okay thank you very much tanya and then let's proceed with the next slides so let's look at now in more details in the service dashboards here we have a general example um, so for example so you have always a um, bar chart view and alongside you have a trend view. So in the bar chart view, you can, for this, this is an example of Canada, it has been selected as a country. So I want, I can see here, how is my performance in each of the roaming partners where I'm performing tests against the average values. You can see here, the data are available for every operator in Canada, but I'm passing only in three of them. So in that case, I can compare with the average value, but in the other case, I can also get the information. So if, for example, CA Bell would be very much better than everybody else, and I'm not testing there because it's a forbidden network, then this is the good news, the good information, the valuable information that I'm getting out of this tool that is give, telling me something that I could never know before. And then I, as a roaming manager, I can reconsider my roaming strategy, my agreements uh, or my um, these commercial uh, issues to include also that operator. On the other hand, we have the trend, as you see in the bottom window. And there, this is also very important because if there was a problem in the during the last seven days, just for one day, or there is a decline of performance during the last seven days, there is the place where I'm able to see. And there I'm able to see if the decline or the problem was impacting only me or is impacting everybody else. So if it's a general problem in the roaming partner or is it just a problem between me and the roaming partner. So here we have the SMS dashboard. This is an example of the complete dashboard. All dashboards are the same for SMS, voice, data, and network access. So they always have the chart on the left-hand side, as you can see uh, for the SMS duration KPI and for the SMS content KPI. On the right-hand side, we have the trends where you, you can have a look at the last seven days. As you see, you are always, in this case, you are always below the trend. And if you compare operator per operator, you see that your results in most cases are very much below the trend. This is the case of China Unicom and Spain Orange. You also have available, which is the average performance in the uh, Etisalat network, also, you don't perform uh, any any test. In Switzerland, SALT, for example, this is another interesting case, is where you have data, but unfortunately, there are no reliable data for that operator, at least in the last seven days. This does not mean that there will never be, but if any user, any global roamer user starts to testing there, the results will uh, pop out as soon as they are available. Next slide is about 
the high level view with the signal service indicators as i announced before i was going to explain you exactly how it works how it has been configured so for the voice we could not take the gsma ir81 results uh, configuration because uh, it, the cli is not included and because uh, includes the call retainability and the call success rate so um, for that you need for the call retainability for example you need to be sure that you make long calls so to avoid misunderstandings and to focus on the user experience we included only the lm the kpis that are very important for the users and so is the most important one is the voice quality that's why it's weighted 40 percent at the mini opinion score indicator then we have the cli transparency 30 percent we want to make sure the cli is sent and correctly received and then again the post dial delay so the time that the user is waiting until he gets the 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 ringtone on the other hand the sms and the http data ssi are in line with the gsma definitions where they take into account respectively the sms success ratio and the end-to-end -end delivery time uh, in the SMS success ratio, we have also included the content check. So it's even stronger and even much more uh, user uh, experience oriented. For the data, we take the PDP context activation duration, of course, and the session completion. We want to make sure that the data session is successfully completed. That is important for the user experience, but most of all, the download rate. This is what really impacts on from what is really matter for the user and what impacts on its own on, on its user experience how can you get this product this is very simple is a um, year is a 12 months sub subscription there is a single fee you have access to all global roamer performance data during this year and of course is available only to global roamer customers because the data have your data have also to be generated on the global roamer in order to be able to have this dashboard and the charts to to benchmark it finally the roadmap this is the first version we are going to improve it and very shortly and very quickly one of the powerful functions that we need in this tool is the filtering function if you are executing a 4g test you want to compare with a 4g data download the speed is quite different for from 2g and 3g also on the average with average values so this is something that we will introduce shortly in the coming release in november the test scenarios also like uh, roaming originated or international calls we want to be able also to discriminate them so currently we are considering all of them together in the level is not that bad because it's still it's an international calls but we want to be more precise and give more accurate results regarding the high level dashboard there will be a link to the uh, service dashboards so if you are if you see that the data service is performing bad it will be red you can click on that uh, cell and you can get connected directly to the data dashboard and see in more details also the thresholds will be dynamic now as you have seen they are fixed 70 percent and 90 percent for all data your data and reference data in the future they will be only applied to your data and your your score will be compared with the reference value and if it is plus minus five percent five percent above or below it will be colored respectively green and red or if it's within the range it will be yellow 
more details anyway and more development will happen in the year 2019 and it will be available the details will be available on the 2019 road, global roman roadmap so this is the end of the presentation um, i would like at this point to give again uh, the word to tanya to ask her if there are any further questions in the meantime. Yes, we have two more questions, and I would like to thank the part participants for contributing. The first one is, are the test results of any Global Roamer customer visible to the other users? No, not at all. Um, the reference values are uh, average value, average KPI generated uh, in a given network. There is no chance for anybody to know who did the test. Also because in this case, we have to look, we look at it and we aggregate it from the KPI point of view and not from the test point of view. That means let me explain you easily with an example. If I have the location up a data duration, this KPI is written by several test cases. So there is a, um, so the, 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 um, the KPI is written by the voice quality test case, is written by the location update and from other, other test cases. So there is no chance for that. Do we have any more questions, Tanya? Yes, the second question is, are we paying to see the test that we have generated? Uh, if I understood uh, correctly the, the question, uh, you pay for the test that you are, I mean, you, you, um, you, you, you have your account, you pay for the test that you, are, you have generated, um and um you pay just for the dashboard for the annual fee for the configuration for the maintenance uh, and uh, development uh, of the dashboard also because there will be always new new features so you will pay just for the activation of the dashboard and um, the you pay just the normal um, the normal cost for the test units for the generation of your um, of your uh, test of your test cases. This basically works as a let's say community pro, uh, community uh, concept. You give contribution to the data, but you get also the big benefit that you can see the average data produced by um the other uh, from the other users do we have more uh, questions tanya no we don't have okay uh then thank you very much for the um, for attending this this uh, webinar um, thank you for for your time. Uh, you can request uh, and receive um, the presentation slides if you like. You can contact us to the roaming underscore interconnect at sigos uh, dot com, or you can send it directly uh, to me um, at Vincenzo dot fiorentino at secos dot com if you have any requests and for commercial users um, please contact your key account manager before we close just a small reminder please take a minute to answer uh, our uh, short survey so this is the end we wish you a nice day and I hope you that we will be talking very soon. Thank you very much again for attending and goodbye.